successor to the Heinkel 111 and designed to rival Britain's four-engine bombers, the Heinkel 177 is now in service with the Luftwaffe. Like our newest bombers, she has four engines, not two radials, as you might think. Each nacelle conceals two inline engines geared together and contained in the wing. Each of these nacelles has a flat-fronted radiator. That's how you get the radial engine effect. She was primarily designed for use against shipping. She can carry torpedoes, and she may be used as a dive bomber, in which case look out for dive brakes. She can carry a very heavy bomb load for a German, so the Heinkel 177 is something worth watching for. Now let's pick out her recognition features as she goes through a turn. Straight away, long nose and wide wingspan. 103 feet, as a matter of fact. Mid-wing, too. Unusual for a German bomber. Yes, the length of the nose stands out. And there are the short, blunted nacelles we warned you about. Now, see how terrific is the span of those slender wings in comparison with the length of the fuselage. Squared off tail plane, large single fin and rudder squared off too. Rear gun position also, another unusual point for a Bosch product. Plenty new and plenty to pick her out by. Well, after that bit of aerobatics, let's keep her still and let the artist have his fling. Blunter nose than the old Heinkel. Yes, that's right. Gun turret on top and a nice bulge of a gondola underneath. Straight top to fuselage. Underside curves up to tail. Quite a slim fuselage for a heavy bomber. Large squared or fin and rudder. Yes, a Heinkel bite out of it. Gun position at the tip of the fuselage. Our artist seems to be quite at home with the Heinkel 177. But are you? Well, let's come in close and get him to help us again. Very round nose with gun turret offset and gondola underneath. Mid-wing and yet German. One more blow for those who rely on rules. Slight dihedral from those apparently radial engines. Remember, two engines only as far as recognition goes. Tail plane out of sight, but fin and rudder very much in sight. Yes, long nose, fully glazed and blunted. And see the effect of a straight center section on that trailing edge. Compare the short blunted nacelles with that very long nose. Take another look at the offset turret while we've got it nicely in view. Slender wings, wide in span, with rectangular center section between nacelles. Straight taper from there to rounded tips. Squared off tail plane with definite taper to leading edge adds one more clue. Gun position projecting well beyond the tail plane. Large squared off tail unit. Yes, that's right, the Heinkel bite. All right, Augustus, that's enough. Well, now we've got rid of the artist, let's get down to realities. See how much you can remember. From glazed nose to tip of tail, you'll find clues which make her the Heinkel 177, one of Germany's latest efforts in heavy bomber design. Mid-wing but Bosch, you remembered that, I hope. Overhead, there she goes, the big German bomber. Check up on nose length and wings, which are wide in span, and appear to be set well back on the fuselage. Higher up, 
those wing tips appear almost pointed and the characteristics of the tail plane are still very obvious. Closer inspection again shows up the gun position beyond the tail plane. Something new in German bombers, the Heinkel 177. So a mid-wing monoplane with blunted glazed nose, long in plan view compared to those two short phony radials, squared off fin and rudder with characteristic Heinkel bite, it's a Heinkel 177. <laughs>